Hi, I'm Cynthia Kay, and welcome to Video 101. This is a series of presentations designed to help you better understand the production process and create better and more watchable videos. Video's been around for a long time, and lots of organizations have used it successfully to get noticed, launch products, and so much more. In fact, the statistics show that the use of video is expanding quickly. Today, 60% of all web traffic comes from online videos. Customers who view a product video are up to 85% more likely to buy. And computer-based video consumption? It's climbed a whopping 157% in the last five years. But should you use video? Now that might seem like a funny question coming from someone that creates video, but it's something you should think about because there is nothing worse than bad video. So what makes for a good video or one that falls flat? First, let's look at what works well. Great videos tell compelling stories, show impressive results, or demonstrate thought leadership. Great videos often include demonstrations or information to train people, or they might share tips and tricks. You can see that if you want to create a successful video, you need to have great content and captivating visuals. So what doesn't work well? Talking heads. Lists of things that are difficult to read. Videos that don't entertain or just lack the wow. Video can be a powerful tool, but video that's poorly produced or lacks great content can turn viewers off, tarnish your image, and cost you customers. Uh, the cool thing about living in this city is um, I mean, there's, there's lots of uh, downtown nightlife that you can check out. Um, back to this side, there's, a lot of, there's some, even some water sports that are, uh, that are doable. So before you think about producing a video, just ask yourself, is video the right tool? If it is, you'll want to stay tuned for our next session of Video 101.